Good afternoon everyone. I'm going to show you how to change the oil in the Snapper 4500. I have all my tools ready. I have my oil ready. And I even have my marked cup ready. As you can see, it looks like my oil does need to be changed. I have 67 hours on here. I think I changed it at 50 also. I'm not sure. Anyways. Now the only way I know how to change the oil on this thing is to lift it up like this. There's a screw in there, or a nut in there you gotta undo. And the oil drains out of that little tiny thing in the bottom. Let's see if I can point it out. Right there. So that's why I have to have some space and lift it up. Now when I take this nut off, I'm gonna see how much oil I get everywhere. Hmm, not much at all. I have my cup marked for 16 ounces, which is the top, if we can see that. And then I also have it marked for 8 and 4. It says to put 20 ounces in there, but we'll find out. Now I'm using this oil, which is Penn's oil made from natural gas. It's pure synthetic, 10W30. And this is what I have filled up. And we'll see if it fills it up. Now, I don't know how we're going to put 20 ounces of oil in there when 16 filled it right up there to the mark on the edge. And it even leaked out a little bit when I put it in there. So, I don't know if I should put any more in there or not. It's just going to pour out anyways. So, I just started up, let it ran for a minute. And let's take this back out and see what happens. We'll both know. That's right there at the tip. You can see it about ready to pour out. So, I think that's it.